the field for race number 12, another elimination for three-year-old pacing fillies. One, Ba, owned by James uh, Crowley of Chicago. John Booten chain trains, Tony Morgan drives. Two is Fox Valley Uppity, owned by Julius Muni of Pocahontas, Illinois. Maurice Rockers, the trainer, Dave Martin in the bike. Three Lake Hills Nan, owned by Jack and Peggy Hood, Valparaiso, Indiana. Tony Alanya, the trainer with Dave McGee in the bike. Four Tribal Luminescence, owned by Lyle Skurlock of Newton. Gary Skurlock trains with Lance Skurlock getting the call. Five Chevy Classic, owned by Clyde Stevens, La Center, Kentucky. Ronnie Guy trains with Dale Heitman driving. Six Sissy, owned by George and uh, Reggie Winters of Carrollton. Tom Simmons, the trainer driver. Seven, Fancy Creek Beam, owned by Steve Newcomb and Terry Duffy of Chicago. Tex Motes, the trainer with Andy Miller, up. Eight, Cammie Lynn, owned by Robin Schott of Oaklawn, Illinois. Mitch McKenzie, the trainer, Brian Penske, will drive. And nine, Our Golden Promise, owned by Neil Miller, Beverly Hills, California. Joe Anderson, the trainer. Joe will be the driver. Now they're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Sissy first away. Outside her getting away second is Fancy Creek Beam. That field headed toward the turn. Getting away third as they drive that way is Tribal Luminescence. The field powers into the first turn and Sissy has the lead but on the outside Fancy Creek Beam Andy Miller. Range up now to take command by a length. Dropped in with the lead as they drive to the quarter is Fancy Creek Beam. Sissy picks up cover. Tribal Luminescence away. Well is third. On the outside our Golden Promise keeps driving fourth. Right back off the rail. There goes Sissy. She's the leader. They're just past the quarter that station in 27 seconds and the field swiftly moves down the back stretch and our golden promise up on the outside for Anderson she'll take command now as they enter the back stretch headed toward the half picking up cover will be sissy second on the rail racing third fancy creek beam four tribal luminescence five is ba racing six fox valley uppity seven is cami lynn eighth on the inside down the back side is uh, chevy classic and the field being trailed as they reach the half mile mark and now race past that station, the trailer, but moving up on the outside is Lake Hills Nan. They've just passed the half, 56 and 4. They're at the draw gate. Our Golden Promise did lead, but gives way now as they enter the upper turn on the outside, taking command, Tribal Luminescence. And she with a neck now half length in front. Behind her, coming on, bow on the outside. Morgan has that uh, filly positioned well as they reach the uh, three-quarter mile mark. Our Golden Promise on the inside, Tribal Luminescence has the lead. Racing third, coming on is Ba. Behind her, Cammie Lynn has pace. No place to go right now for Sissy. She's fourth. Racing on the inside, fifth. As they race past that station, toward the top of the lane is Fancy Creek Beam. The three-quarter mile mark, 125-2. They're in the stretch, and... Everybody in contention except one as they drive to the wire. On the outside, Ba between Phillies. To the wire, our Golden Promise. Our Golden Promise. And here comes Chevy Classic. Our Golden Promise, Chevy Classic. Photo. Sissy was third. That's a photo finish. Tight. 153 and 2. Chevy Classic from out of the back of the pack to challenge our Golden Promise. That's a photo finish. From deep in the south. Late rushing, fast closing. Chevy Classic and Dale Heitman. A long time standard bread owner from La Center, Kentucky, the Chevrolet dealer. Atlas Center, Clyde Stevens has seen now his second win of the 1999 Illinois State Fair. Yesterday, it was a Ronnie Guy trained two-year-old Colt that picked up the win. That being Chevy Silverado. Today, it's another Chevy. This time, it's Chevy Classic. So, on by Chevy dealer... Clyde Stevens from La Center, Kentucky. Ronnie Guy joins Dale Heitman in that uh, trackside ceremony. Who you talking to, Ronnie Guy? On the other end, it might just be Clyde Stevens. 
right there in the Chevy showroom in Lysander, Kentucky. There's the winning filly, Chevy Classic, Dale Heitman.